Trent and Siobhan, and we're going to take a look at their 1995 Ford Travel U300. Yes. That's correct. <laughs> this is my favorite. I love this. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a whole, a whole RV drawer. Oh, my goodness. It's called a Joey bed. It's That's small. more storage than we have in our total. Whole setup. <laughs> yeah, yeah, van and Airstream. And then I've got tons more storage here on the other side underneath these steps. There's an entirely new car compartment here. So this rig just has so much storage on it. I love it. You have to have a lot of storage when your husband's a musician. You'll notice yeah. that half of that like, is uh, all There's my here. amp and my foot pedal and <laughs> yeah, I have my yeah. cars. And... So this nice. propane tank is a 52 gallon propane tank. Good grief. So it's, it's a wow. beast, man. And then a 148 gallon diesel tank. So that takes care of our generator and, you know, our heat when we're in a cold area and we're not like plugged in. So we can yeah. boondock really well. 102 gallon water tank. What's ours? And then in the Airstream? Oh, like 10? <laughs> <laughs> the water heater six and uh, it's well, not much. Family, it's not 102 gallons. For a family of seven, we go through the water real quick, you know, so. Mm -hmm. And I think the black and gray tank are like 50 and 60 gallons. I'm not sure which one's which though. The wonderful thing about the Unihome, the <laughs> Grand Villa model from the Four Travels is the style of the front. It is such a classic style. Kind of is reminiscent of like a locomotive train or- Yeah, you know, oh, I and, love it, man. It's got I that bullet it. nose front. It's just really, really cool, you know. That's, like me. Yeah. This is the generator that, I mean, I think is really cool for service. Oh, wow. I think that whole compartment just slides out. The wet bay's somewhat nice yeah, and clean. It's nice. Wow, look at that. It's like a mini outdoor kitchen with that sink. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it, it's got you got a real extra... for your water too. Looks like. Yeah, so. those. This was an extra mod that that the previous owner put on it. Uh -huh. And I tell, I, mean, I tell you, what a life saver, saver that thing. Because I mean, sometimes it'll be like rainy and wet. Uh huh. I don't want to coil that thing all. So when I when I coil this electric up, I use this towel stick it in my hand and just press the button it cleans the cord off as i put it in and oh man it's really awesome this thing is a beast it's a 420 cummins m11 turbo you put that in right yeah what did it have before a detroit diesel is yeah. what it came with it's got the turbo hydraulic uh water pump so i don't need to have any belts on my water pump which is awesome this is obviously the heartbeat of where we live and exist. We always tell people like we don't live in the RV, we sleep in the RV and we eat in the RV if it's cold. But for the most part, we live outside and we eat outside and stuff. So sometimes as a family, we'll gather around and kind of pull that thing out and set up our chairs. And we just kind of sit around here uh, for our dinner, which is kind of nice. On this side, you'll see that um, Nathan left his coffee up here. <laughs> I'm working on that. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> We have the two couches here, which is, we wanted the four travel, but we were not able to find any four travels that slept the seating, the sleeping capacity of ours. And this one could do it. So originally when we bought this, so we have, we have a four sleeper. These two come out as like a big bed. And so we put one, two here, three, four, we have five little boys. And the fifth one, uh, when we first started, we actually put a pack and play like right here because he's just a little, he's a little guy, you know. Yeah. He's kind of big now, so instead, since we don't have the pack and play anymore, we have an air mattress that we lay down under here, and when both beds are out, then then that's where he sleeps, and he kind of likes that it's his own little space and stuff. So, Five kids in a forty foot four travel and yep. with no slides. Yeah. And it works. And it works, and it works because. Cause you know, for the most part, like we're in warmer weather and we don't, we're not always inside. That's the whole reason why we're able to get this mm -hmm. video because there's no kids in here right now. Yeah. Rear monitor here, which is, is really nice. This has kind of been, been a little bit of a school area for our kids. Cause we do homeschool while, while we're on the road and this kind of comes out and, and I've got a brace that that locks in. And for the most part, like we just always set the TV up there. We put it on the bed when we're traveling. Um, for the most part, like the kids, tend to congregate up here and so we decided to kind of make this toy area space i think these are really cool this is all like really good wood and custom stuff but this is like a roll top desk these little cabinets and oh yeah that's not this is how neat and just su such fine craftsmanship that four travel put in there but these kind of roll into there um and you know we keep our games and we keep a lot of our homeschool supplies up here when you're at like highly lit like walmart areas and stuff 
Yeah, you the blinds. The, yeah, that's nice. You have the blinds that come down, and then there's oh, yeah. the, the daytime shades. The thing that I missed on the outside is that this rigs it rides on air, so it has air brakes and air suspension. Everything's automatic, which is so awesome. I've got just these, just a few controls up here where I have Jake brakes. So mm -hmm. I'm driving through really mountainous areas and stuff, all the automatic leveling and stuff. When I pull into a place, even if it's not level, I just put it in park, put the air brake on and press the automatic leveling and just it does its magic and it's so great. I don't drive with a plant in front of me, by the way. It's the Dometic fridge, so it's original. I wanna say they had like an ice maker down here or something uh -huh. was down here that they pulled out. I'm not quite sure. We use it just for storage for, for pots and pans and stuff like that. But that is a 22 year old fridge, I guess? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's a good size. We get envious of the fifth wheels with the bigger refrigerators and stuff, but for the most part, yeah, we kind of need to defrost some stuff. Come on into the bathroom. This is a full, like a full bathroom like that is awesome like it's it does kind of cut your space because it's like a full room we kind of have a full shower in here and I think it's a, a 10 gallon water heater so I mean like there's for a family of seven we never ever go through a time when we don't have a hot hot shower and I'll tell you for the little kids this is something that we do and uh, well show you the closets here is our closet space a little bit of pantry for the kitchen dirty laundry the boys clothes um and then our clothes and just a few extra little storage things right there pretty much the only closet space we need for our family in here is where we keep our um our homeschool books and some towels and such um it's a lot of storage though yeah a lot of storage we found we found still after a year that we have some even empty compartments down underneath this is really cool if you guys have ever seen this this is graham and wrigley's bathtub folds up like that we'll stick this guy in the in the shower and they're ready to go for bath time so that's that's been a, a huge thing oh, for yeah. us Tom. yeah well it's not like the bath that marissa sat in you know no, no, full no. size bath <laughs> can ridiculous. you believe that a bathtub and a shower oh my goodness oh my goodness oh and these two these are siobhan's uh, laundry baskets these are also fold up laundry baskets oh, yeah. from adventure ridge yeah okay. this is now a separate space for siobhan and i every four travel comes complete with a cat in the middle of the bed i'm just kidding it's a great space for us i mean it's we can close off the doors and just be back here and I kind of modded this thing just just for me because I do a lot of work during the daytime. Like I'll use this for our television, you know. A lot of people kind of like to have an extra television, so mm -hmm. that, that, that works nicely for us. And tons of storage in here too, you know. You can see all of that. Like these these are so those same rolled up cabinets. I mean, you look in there and it's like, oh, I have space still, you know. Like we have cabinets everywhere. Um, just kind of worked out nicely for us we have a family of five boys and so this, these are their drawers we have the littlest guy this is his drawer all the way down to our oldest and they all have their own drawer it's a nice big drawer and all of their clothes go in their drawer this is like their spot that they get one of the things that we looked for a lot when looking for an rv we did want the company we wanted to know a lot about the rv but the main thing that we were looking for was the previous owner that had it the person that owned this RV took such great care of it, such immaculate care of it, that we knew right away that this was something we could trust. So, man, that was something I highly recommend. If you can find an RV that had a previous owner that took such great care of it, where it was like their baby. You'll know it when you have found it. You'll though. know it when you have found yeah. it. And the person who knew everything about it, they had everything labeled, and we're like, when we found that there were people out there that did that, we were like, that might be a bigger deal than the than the type of RV that we buy mm -hmm. is who owned it beforehand. Well, Trent, I really appreciate your time. And I mean, yeah, I think man. that's a great point to end on because if you're looking for a used RV, high quality used is a great way to go. I mean, this is a 1995, but I mean, it's I mean, as far as major condition, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's, it does everything they need, runs great. I think that's a great tip to end on. Make sure you check out Trent and Siobhan's channel. I will uh, link it in the description. And just uh, if you got any questions, comments about the rig or the buying process, just let them know.